good book, a great beer on today's draft. We celebrate reading and PBS, and this summer's The Great American Read. Of course, be careful how much beer you drink while you're reading the good book because you don't want to forget the storyline. The storyline today is about Brood in Michigan. This book uh, authored by Bill Repay, who happens to be with me here at Pigeon Hill Brewing in Muskegon. This is one of your favorite places. It is because there's no TVs. It's a place where people can come and sit around and have a good conversation. That's one of the things that makes Michigan craft beer great is that the, the culture is is made up of people who appreciate beer and conversation. It's it's not a place where you walk in and order a beer and you have to look at a, a bank of televisions and lots of noise. Your former newspaper guy, there's always that curiosity. Was there a beer that sparked the curiosity that began the first line in this book? Final Absolution by Dragon Mead was, was clearly it, and it sent me down the road on a journey to learn as much as I could about Michigan craft beer. And I started visiting breweries around the state. The question was, what is Michigan craft beer culture? What makes Michigan beer special? And along the way, I learned that Michigan has great water. We have some special water out of the Great Lakes. Think about Rocky Mountain spring water that goes into cores. Well, before you can begin to brew with that, that water, you have to extract all the elements, all those minerals in it. You gotta take out the manganese and the sulfur and the iron. Michigan water is naturally low in all those elements. So we're starting from a better place. We grow all the ingredients here in Michigan. We, we have hops, we have great barley. We, we now have yeast that's being made here in Michigan. It's Michigan indigenous yeast that is being sold. So you can make a Michigan indigenous beer and that's pretty cool. But the thing that makes Michigan beer absolutely the most special are the brewers themselves. They are absolutely tight. They get together with one another. They, they work with one another to make their beers better, to make each other better. They know that if they need a box of, of hops or they're short on some ingredient, they can call up the guy down the street. Even though they might be you know, in perceived competition with that brewer down the street, they'll call up and say, hey, I need a bag of grain. And that brewer always knows what the answer is. And that is, when do you need it? I think what makes Michigan beer special are the people who drink it. You have a favorite? I love beer. I, you know, so I just you put it in front of me and I'll consume it. To all of you who watch the draft, we know which beers you like. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>